This video covers the installation and configuration of K2. I'll install the component on an existing site that already has content. You can also install K2 on a brand new site with no content. Download the latest version from getk2.org and install it using the Extension Manager. Notice that K2 automatically installs not only the component, but also the required modules and plugins. It's nice that you don't have to install each of those separately. There are six site modules, two administrator modules, and four plugins. If you take a look at the plugin manager and search for K2, you see that the plugins have all been enabled. From the module manager, the six site modules have been added, but they're not published. The K2 login module will be eliminated in later versions of K2. The user module should be used instead, so I'll delete the K2 login module. I'll cover each of these modules as we go through the course. The two administrator modules can be seen in the control panel. The K2 quick icons provide easy access to the same K2 options available from the components menu, plus a few other options, such as an online image editor. Since I'll be using the K2 icons a lot, I'll move them above the normal Joomla icons. From the Module Manager, Display Administrator Modules, click Ordering. The icons are displayed in the icon position, so I want to move the quick icons up to the top. I'll enter a zero there and save that. Now we see the K2 quick icons at the top. K2 stats are displayed in the right column. This module provides statistics about the K2 content, such as popular items and latest comments. Since we're just getting started, we obviously don't have any statistics to show yet. Click the K2 icon or the K2 menu option to go to the dashboard. The first thing we'll do is take a look at the component parameters. I won't cover all these in detail. I'll just hit the highlights for now and come back later to any that we need to take a closer look at. I'll keep most of these settings at their default values. As I work through the course, I may come back and adjust some of the settings. Layout and Views allows you to set options for what is displayed on the user pages, tag listings, and search and date listings. Under Content, you have settings to control the formatting of RSS feeds. Content Cleanup allows you to enter HTML tags that should be allowed or those that should be stripped out of item text. Under the Images tab, enter the quality to use for uploaded images as a percentage. You can also specify various image sizes that K2 will resize uploaded images to extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. Also generic image, category, and avatar sizes. Later we'll assign these basic sizes to different parts of the page layouts. K2 does the resizing when images are uploaded. If you change the sizes here, it will not affect images that have already been added to items on your site. If you do need to change the size of existing images, you'll need to delete those images and re-upload them. K2 stores uploaded files in the Joomla Media directory in the K2 folder. You have attachments, categories, galleries, items, users, and videos. The Social tab allows you to enter code for social media sharing and a Twitter username. 
Under Comments, you can control who is permitted to comment and whether comments should be auto-published. You have two options to control spam under the Advanced tab. You can enter a reCAPTCHA key or enable Stop Forum Spam integration. From the Front End Editing tab, you can enable or disable Front End Editing and control individually which items users have access to. Last is the Permissions tab, which uses the Joomla ACL to allow you to control permissions by user group to the K2 back end. You can easily control front end access using K2 user groups, which I'll cover in a later tutorial. If you're feeling a little bewildered by K2 so far, don't worry. We'll start putting it to use by building a basic blog in the next session.